Have you ever wondered why egg production starts slow, hits a peak, then gradually declines? Have you ever wondered why this happened? In today's video, I will unveil the stages of the egg production curve, show you the old stages, and also let you know how you can optimize each stage from the onset to decline, and how you can boost your profit, especially in high value markets. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Poetry with Modupe. My name is Modupe. I am a layer poetry farmer, a layer poetry consultant, a layer poetry trainer doing business in Nigeria. I am helping new and existing poetry farmers do well in their business, scale well in their business, and of course, make more profits. Yes, that is what we're doing here. So today, join me as I dive into the world of the egg production curve. And let's see if the perfect egg production curve really exists and what it looks like. The egg production curve is a crucial concept in poultry farming, layer poultry farming specifically. It shows how egg production changes over time, and understanding it is very crucial for sustainability and profitability of your farm. Your farm. Essentially, the egg production curve is a graph that plots the number of eggs produced by a flock against time. Something like this, like the number of eggs produced plot it against time. So this is time here. This is a um, number of eggs produced. This is what it looks like. It is very important for farmers to have a grasp of this concept so that they can optimize um, their production and also make informed decision. This graph, you would need it. Poultry farmers face several challenges in achieving optimal production. One major issue is the decline in egg production as the birds age. As they get older, their body slows down and they produce lesser eggs. Another challenge is the impact of environmental factors. Factors like temperature, humidity, and light. All these factors affect egg production. And the farmers have to take charge of these things, especially the ones they can manage within their powers they have to take charge so that um, the impact is not so severe on egg production so farmers must ensure that their birds are comfortable so that the birds can produce eggs at their best diseases and parasites can also affect egg production in this case the farmer has to prioritize the health of the birds so that they can always have um, maximum production another thing that plays um, a huge a huge role in egg production will be nutrition. I said this over time, time and over again. The nutrition you give to your birds have a very high impact on their production and the farmer must not joke with the bird's nutrition. And we should know that a balanced nutrition, a balanced diet is very crucial for egg production. The egg production curve has several phases. The first phase is the pullet phase. This is the phase where the young birds just start laying eggs. At this phase, I mean the pullet phase, Egg production increases rapidly as the birds mature sexually. You know, once the birds attain sexual, um, sexual growth, they start producing egg and they start producing rapidly at this phase. The second phase is the peak phase. So I said the first phase is the pullet phase. Um, I'm trying to manage my board. So let me write it somewhere down here. So we have the first phase, the pullet phase. Then the second phase is the peak production phase. The peak phase. So at this phase, this is where most of the birds lay their eggs. They lay most of their eggs at this phase. So it is at the peak production phase that we say that almost all the birds must be laying eggs at this time. You know, when the birds start laying initially at the pullet phase, not all the birds will be laying in that phase, you know. Sometimes one might lay today and not lay until two days time at the pullet phase. But at the peak production phase, we are certain that most of the birds are laying at that time. Then the third phase is the decline phase where egg gradually decreases at the bird's age. So the third phase is the decline phase. Where the eggs produce gradually reduces as the birds age. And we have a last phase, it is the molt phase, where the birds all together just stop laying eggs. The molt phase. I've actually never raised my birds to the molt phase ever. 
And of course, we're probably going to talk about this eventually. So the mold phase is where the birds just stop laying eggs all together. No more eggs at this point. So I want to let you know that the breed and the genetics of the layer bird can influence how the egg production curve is going to look like. But then some other environmental factor would also affect how the, um, how the production curve would look like. You know, environmental factors like temperature, humidity, and all that might also affect how the production curve would look like. We're still going to draw the curve eventually. So stick around and don't go anywhere. And of course, if you've watched this extent and you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you even waiting for? So please subscribe on this channel. Please like, please share, please comment. Let's all learn together. And also, this is to let you know that um, as an if you're an intending poultry farmer, you're looking to um, get knowledge about this business. I am your go-to person. You can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation session with me. Send an email to poultryremotical.gmail.com or book um, the consultation session via the seller link in my description. And of course, if you're looking for vendors, you know, poultry vendors, people you can buy cages, points of lay, day hold, feed, poultry inputs, poultry equipment from, you can also purchase my ultimate trusted poultry vendor list. There you get the contact of trusted, you know, the world is trusted, trusted poultry vendors that would help you in your poultry journey. And of course, please don't skip my ads. Mm -mm. Don't do that. So let's just continue. To manage the egg production curve effectively, farmers can implement several strategies by providing a nutritious diet that is tailored to the bird's specific need can help optimize um, production. We have to also ensure that the birds have access to clean water and adequate space. They also should have comfortable living condition. It's also very crucial. Farmers can also use lighting programs to manipulate egg production curve. For example, by providing extra light during the pullet stage can help to encourage earlier production. Health management is also very vital. Of course, regular vaccination, their medication, parasite control can help minimize the impact of disease on egg production. As layer poultry farmers, we have to understand the egg production curve because it is very vital for our success in poultry farming. By recognizing the different phases of the curve and the factors that affect them, farmers can optimize their production and make informed decisions. A well-managed egg production curve can lead to increased profitability and sustainability for farmers. And you know what I am here to do is just to ensure that every farmer makes profit on their farm. And not just making any profit, every farmer makes sustained profit on their farm because sustainability is what drives this business. Sustainability is what would make you want to stock the next set of birds. Sustainability and profitability is what would encourage you to go forward. And this is why, by all means, we have to be informed about this production curve. You have to learn to plot yours, study it, and make informed decisions. Okay, so what I'm plotting here is, um, see, number of eggs produced in crates, then the age of the birds in week. Of course, this is time. You know, what we are plotting is the number of eggs produced against time, against the age of the birds. So at the onset of production, of course, um, egg production would not start here. So let's say egg production starts at um, 18 weeks. So it comes gradually. So for instance, 18 weeks. And let's say we're working with um, 1,000 birds here. Yeah? We're working with um, 1,000 birds. So this is the number of birds we're working with. So at the onset of um, production, let's say at 19 weeks, we're probably seeing, in a week, we're probably seeing maybe um, 10 pieces of eggs, you know, 10 pieces of eggs. At 20 weeks, we're probably seeing about... Um, maybe five crates, at 30 weeks, at 25 weeks, or no, rather, let me use 26 weeks because 26 weeks is well, when I always emphasize that birds should break even. By break even, it means that uh, when, we, when we sell the eggs they produce, we're able to feed them. So at 26 weeks for 100 birds, let's say that um, this 26 weeks, let me clean it so it is very clear. So at 26 weeks, they are producing about 55%, um, about 50, no? Let's say about um, 14 crates of eggs, right? At 32 weeks, when I expect that they should get to their peak production, they are producing about 28 crates of eggs. Then at, um, so they'll keep this for a while. Maybe at 70 weeks, we start going to about 26 or 27. 80 weeks, 25, 90 weeks. Um, 23, 
So these are just production curve and it, it just these are just um, the number of eggs we're producing. So it means that once your bed start once your bed start laying eggs, they are laying just few numbers. So few numbers like this. So at 19 weeks, you know, you know, they start laying at this 18 weeks here. So it starts coming up a bit, right? At 19 weeks, it's coming up. At 20 weeks, we've gotten to like um, you know, five crates. At at um at 20 weeks, we've gotten to like five crates per day, right? Then we keep going. At um, 26 weeks, we're still going. 26 weeks, we're going at this point. 26 weeks here. Yeah. And we have like 14 crates of eggs at 26 weeks. Sorry about my drawing. But at 26 weeks here, yeah, we're getting about 14 crates of eggs. So it keeps going because it gets more as the birds get older. You know, as the production as they age, their production gets better. So at 32 weeks, when I expect that they will break even, 32 weeks somewhere here. Yeah. So I expect that they break even at this point. So it goes up like this. And it stays there for a while. It keeps going, it, it keeps going this way and it peaks. This is where we say, oh, the birds have peaked. Then it, it stays on that um, on that level. Sometimes it might come down a bit, it might go up a bit, but it stays on this level till about 70 weeks. This is 70 weeks, yeah? So it stays there. Then as the birds get older, their production start declining. See, at 70 weeks, we start coming down a bit. You see the way it went up? It went up gradually. If you look at this place, they are producing 20 weeks, 20 crates of eggs. It went up gradually. It didn't just go up suddenly. It would go... Then at this 70 weeks here, yeah, it will start probably declining. And when we say declining, it doesn't mean that all the all the birds or they'll stop laying or something like that. It just means that it will be coming down gradually, you know, gradually, gradually, something like this. So this is what it would look like. So um, this is um 28 crates of eggs here. Yeah? And this is where the peak production is. So here we'll call it like the pullet phase. This is the pullet phase at this point here. Here is the peak production. And here it starts to decline. Then of course, by the time it moats, like I said, I have never had the moat phase because my birds would produce till I sell them off. I am a commercial layer poultry farmer, so I don't have to wait till my beds are molting. So molting will probably be for maybe people that are doing backyard farming or just farming for their family. But as a commercial poultry farmer, it is believed that once your beds are like above 90 weeks, you can sell them. Don't tell anyone, but I have beds of 138 weeks on my farm. Yes. So once they start getting, but then their production is not as great. Their production at the moment is probably about, about half. No, I think no, it's more than half. It's about 69, 69 68%, which isn't bad for that age. But then this is what the production would look like. This is what your egg production curve would look like. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this um, relatable. Yes. And so on how I got my number of eggs, eggs produced, right, is based off on what I've been producing on my farm over time. So once your production starts at maybe 18, 19 weeks, you're getting pieces. By the time they're like 20 weeks, you can be seeing crates per day. By the time they're 26 weeks, this is where it would always break even. And by break even, it means that you're producing at at least 54% production. Then at 32 weeks, you should be producing the maximum. Maybe 85%, maybe 90% for some people, maybe even 95% for some people. But you should be producing, you should have gotten to your peak production at this point. And that's what we did here at this point here. So this place is our peak production. From, from year to year is where we have our peak production. Do you know what you can do as a farmer to be profitable? It is to sustain this peak production for a long time. And I, maybe I'll do another video on that, on how you can sustain your peak production for a long time. Some people will say that, oh, you can sustain it for about, consistently for about 40 weeks. Some people can say they can do it for one year. I think what I've done at my farm is probably about 35 weeks or thereabouts. Then after that, it starts declining gradually till we end it. And so that's about it for today. Thank you for stopping by. And of course, if you have more comments on this, please drop them in the comment section. And you know what we're doing here. We're all learning together. And yes, if you're open, you're open to learning more about poultry management, profitability in layer poultry farming, you can check out my playlist. Yeah, you can check out my playlist to see other videos from me. And you'll be sure that you find them very, very insightful. 
So I come your way another day. Stay profiting. Yeah, I think that should be my ending notes every time. Stay profiting. Bye-bye.